stimulates people who get a sense of wonder, fun and excitement by talking to the scientists, realising the scientists are really excited about the research they're doing. It's largely about having a bit of fun and getting people to understand a bit better what science is about. People who are open-minded and up for a good time as well as learning something. A lot of the young researchers at our partner institutes really, really want to engage with the public. They're, really, they're bursting, they're very passionate about their subject, about their research, and they want to share it with the public. The reaction's been absolutely fantastic. It's been able to uh, stain blood and heart with fluorescent dyes. So you can look down the microscope and see the blood flowing through uh, the veins and arteries of these fish. And I think people just see this and they just go, wow. My big aim is to try to tell people how it is that work on frog embryos can tell us about how humans function. It brings science down to a slightly easier level than what the academics do. We need young people getting interested in science and wanting to be professional scientists. It's been fun reminding myself why I started liking science in the first place. It restores my faith in London as a city, seeing actually everyone come out and you know, learn stuff, be intelligent, be smart, be creative, and just enjoy themselves. Different scientific activities presented by members of the Crick family, people from the National Institute of Medical Research, the London Research Institute, UCL, King's, Imperial, Wellcome Trust. Very interesting demonstrations about how to look at things, how to relate to things you read about in the news, about DNA, genes, etc. Over 5,000 people have come in here tonight, so that's more than apparently than the Science Museum have ever got. So presumably all these people will come in and uh, hear more about the Crick. There's just so much to say. There's been loads of amazing things here. It really brought science to life for me, I think. <laughs>